LinkedIn carousels are incredibly engaging, so they tend to reach a good chunk of your audience and beyond to people that you're not even connected with or aren't following you. In this LinkedIn carousel tutorial, I'm gonna tell you why LinkedIn carousels stopped working the way they used to and show you the new way that you can start using them right away. Welcome to 5-Minute Social Media, where we help overwhelmed entrepreneurs streamline their social media process so that you can get more sales, more profit, more revenue with less work. Yes, it can be done. And if that sounds like something you'd like in your business, take a second, hit subscribe, click that bell. That way you'll be notified each week when we release another helpful video. My name is Jerry Potter, and one of the members in my Social Media Leads Lab program was just asking, how do you do LinkedIn carousels? It doesn't work the way that it used to. And I thought, people here on YouTube might want to know as well. So let's walk through it. The reason LinkedIn carousels stopped working the way they used to is because LinkedIn, one, doesn't call them carousels anymore, but two, they stopped letting you upload a series of images. So if you've ever done a carousel post, for example, on Instagram, you make your images wherever you make them, and then you upload them, and then people can swipe through all of the post, right? Well, on LinkedIn, they've changed the file format. So here's what it looks like. I'm here in the posting box, and if I click down here to more, you can see there are all these different photos. None of them say carousel. LinkedIn removed that option, but you can still totally do it. And here's how it works. First of all, you can click add a photo and you can add a bunch of photos, but it kind of puts them into a gallery that all shows at once, or at least the first several show at once. So it's not really the carousel experience where somebody sees a slide that catches their attention and then they wanna keep swiping through. Instead, what you wanna do is you wanna come over here to add a document and that is going to become your carousel. So how do we do this? If you've already made carousels in a program like Canva, it's super easy, that's what I use. So I've created exactly what I want on each slide here in Canva, and if I was gonna put this on Instagram, I would export it as a series of images because that's what Instagram takes. Now on LinkedIn instead, when you go to export from whatever program you're doing this in, I'm gonna to go to download, and then I'm actually gonna choose PDF. Now here in Canva, and by the way, if you've never used Canva before, if you wanna try it for free, you can go to my referral link, 5minutesocialmedia.com slash Canva. But if you go here, um, we've actually got two, PDF standard, best for documents and emailing, PDF print, best for printing. So that's a little bit better quality. I'm gonna choose that one. I don't know if it makes a difference or not, but we're gonna do it anyway. So I choose that. And then I go ahead and I download it and I have a PDF saved on my computer. Then back here in the posting box on LinkedIn, I'm gonna do attach a document. So I click that, choose the file, so it uploads. You can see it's FMSM Instagram Carousel because I originally did this one on Instagram. Then you can add a descriptive title to your document. And once it uploads, it'll populate for you and you can actually scroll through and see what they are, make sure that it looks right and things like that. One thing I like about this PDF version uh, versus images is you know they're gonna be in the right order because it's the way that they export it because you can't, you know, it's not gonna get rearranged versus if you just had eight random photos or graphics on your hard drive, they could get uploaded in the wrong order. Now this is important to see here at the bottom. For accessibility purposes, LinkedIn members who can view your post will be able to download your document as a PDF. So just know that if you're putting this up here, people could also download the images that you had put up in a previous carousel as well. Next, we're gonna click done. Then at the top, it says, what do you wanna talk about? So this is where you would add any sort of introduction or tease that you wanted to have as part of this. Once you've got that all set, you can click down here to schedule for later, or you can click post and boom, just like that, it goes up. So here's my caption. It shows the title here at the top when people hover over it. And then they can go through and swipe through like this with their mouse on a computer, or of course on mobile where most people do view the LinkedIn feed, they can swipe through with their finger. And so these get lots more engagement than just a static post because every time somebody clicks through to the next slide, that counts as engagement. That is a signal to the LinkedIn algorithm that this is good content and they will show it to more of your followers and connections and even potentially more people who do not follow you or are not connected with you yet. If you're not following me on LinkedIn, I would love to see you there. I included the link in the description of this video. And let me know if this was helpful by giving this video a like or leaving a comment. You're not only supporting me, but my two tiny superheroes at home.